undo and redo are two complementary commands that can be quite helpful when working in AutoCAD. Let's quickly create some objects. I'll use the Line tool to create a line segment. I'll end the command and then start it again. And this time, I'll create several line segments and then right-click and choose the Close option to create a closing segment and end the command. Then I'll use the Rectangle command to draw a rectangle. And finally, I'll use the Line command to create one more line segment. The important thing to note here is the order in which I used the commands. One, two, three, and four. Now if I come up here to my Quick Access Toolbar and click once on the Undo tool, AutoCAD will undo the last thing I did. In this case, it undoes the last line segment I created. If I click on Undo again, it will undo the next most recent thing I did. In this case, it removes the rectangle. If I click Undo again, it will not undo the individual line segments, but rather all of the line segments I created in that instance of the line command. When you're in the middle of the line command, its undo option lets you step back and remove previous line segments. But once you've ended the line command, the undo command reverses all of the line segments you created during that particular use of the line command. And if I click on undo again, it will undo the very first line segment I created. Clicking on the Redo button one at a time will reverse what I just did with the Undo command. So each time I click the Redo button, each object is restored to the drawing. You can also click on the down arrow adjacent to the Undo button to view a list of all of the commands. You can then roll back through a series of commands. So rather than having to click the Undo button three times to undo everything but the very first line, I can select the first three commands at the top of the list to undo the line, the rectangle, and the line. The arrow adjacent to the Redo button lets me do the same thing. Rather than clicking the Redo button two times to restore the line segments and then the rectangle, I can simply click on the second item in the list to redo the last two undo actions. The combination of the undo and redo commands is perfect for trying what-if scenarios. Or, if you do something and don't get the desired results, you can immediately undo whatever you just did. Don't try to fix it, just undo it. One thing to remember, however, the redo command only reverses whatever you just undid using the undo command. If you use any other command after you undo something, you will no longer be able to use the redo command to reverse whatever you undid.